Um, I've been asked if I could give a lesson on how to play Biffy Clyro's uh, song Bubbles, so here we go. First thing to know about the song is it's not in standard tuning, it's actually a sort of drop D tuning, but the whole guitar is like down a half step, which means you down, down tune every string by one semitone. So reading from top to bottom you've got E flat, B flat, G flat or F sharp, D flat, A flat, and then the bottom one's a D flat as well. I'll put this in the in the information bit. Anyway, next thing the reason the reason that I know it's in that sort of drop tuning is if you listen to the very beginning of the song, which if I click over here I can bring it back up. That that part there, the the note is ringing out. So that's at the the thirteenth fret, which means it's open. These guitar strings sound terrible because they're really old and they're going a little bit out, but it's enough to give you the gist of the thing. So there it's at the 13th fret on the G string, and then the 12th fret on the B string, and you're hammering on and off to the the 14th fret. So you've got 13, then hammer on and pull off 12 and 14 the next string, then pull off and you you get the open string. So. then it's like a, a major sort of shape. So you've got... So you get there, then... Then a sort of D chord type shape at the ninth fret. You're top walking on to the um, E string at the 11th fret. And then 12th fret, hold the 12th fret, and then 7-7. Seven, seven. Repeat that. Then the whole thing repeats. Then this chord here, sort of like a minor. But you take out the middle one and you keep your little finger on the 12th fret. So all together that sounds like... Let's get the track back, play it along. So that's just got the first part down. The next bit is the sort of like pre-chorus. Just going to shift the camera around slightly. Um, it starts kind of similar to the beginning that you've got that sort of hammer on pull off thing that we've already covered. Then it shifts down to the ninth fret. I'm going between the ninth fret and the G string, then the seventh fret and the ninth fret on the B string. And here you don't ring the open string, you go back to this note, so... Mm. 
Then this note shifts down a semitone. Back up. Repeat. Then you've got a sort of um, 7, 9, 10, 9 on the B string whilst holding down the 9 on the G string. So. And then that's you ready to go into the chorus. Ready for the chorus, so I'll stand up because uh, it makes it easier to see the see my guitar frets. So the chorus starts on the second fret, and you come in with the fourth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, back down to the second, eleventh fret, then down to the seventh fret. Then the ninth fret. Now you can continue playing just the open bar chords, but I add in a little extra bit here. It's quite a stretch, but up to the fourteenth fret with the little finger on the third on the sorry fourth string. Then resolve the chord by moving the finger down one. So then eleventh fret for the chord, fourteenth here. Back down to the seventh. Then I've got the 11th fret here, back up to the same chord, then back down to the 2nd fret, stretch to the 6th, then move the chord up to the 4th, add on the 7th, move the whole thing up 2 frets, chord slides up 1, pinky goes up 1, sorry 2, Back down. That's pretty much the, the basics of the song done so far and it goes back to the beginning then and repeats until you get to the end of the chorus and then there's this, um, you end back on the same chord and you've got a sort of And the, the way to count that, it's almost like a one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. So it's a sort of um, the rhythm sort of like ba 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 And then it goes into the sort of guitar solo. And if I just rewind the track a little bit, I'll just demonstrate that. Yeah, it's here. One. And then the guitar solo. 
did go into the guitar solo. There's kind of several different ways to play the guitar solo because it starts on the open B string, which, as we discussed at the beginning, has been lowered down to be flat because all the strings are down a semitone. You could start off just on the um, on the open string here, then the second fret, then the fourth fret, then the fifth fret. But this, you could also start this here, which is the way I play it. Then up to the 7th fret, then back to the 5th fret, 4th, 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, and uh, as it gets around to the second time, there's a sort of noise that comes in the background. Don't worry if you can't play everything at the one time, because they've recorded this in a studio and there's probably layer upon layer of guitars and multi-tracks. And it's a sort of... So you get... It has that noise in the background. Um, same, the, the bass and uh, guitar in the background are playing. Stuff, stuff to that effect. There actually is the, the noise that I'm talking about, which is the sort of like bend between the G string and the B string at the 12th fret. Peaks. Sort of noises in the background are sort of like reverb and uh, reversal, just guitars. Fourteenth fret and sixteenth fret. Just stop the track there. Yeah, so the, the end bit, you've got various sort of different versions, but it all pretty much starts here. You've got 12th fret on the B string, 14th on the um, G string, and you're just bending the G string till it matches the same note as on the B string. So you've got this. And same again, it just goes further up. You can hear it in the background of the track. It goes up to the 14th fret on the B string, 16th on the G string. And then it jumps between there and two frets up again, same thing. The 
last two chords you've got on the the A string, then that's on the sorry ninth fret, and then the eleventh fret for these two. Then eleventh fret here, and that's you done. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and before I get any comments about um, string intonation stuff being out, I've had these guitar strings on here for absolutely months, and before I get any comments about, oh, your amp could be louder, or the levels could be different, my the little uh, practice amp that I'm using down here is absolutely tiny, and the speakers that I'm recording the music out of pretty considerably huge. And at the same time, this is all being recorded on a tiny little Sony mobile phone camera. But, um, yep, hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think. Cheers!